Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we have our review for Button City, a fantastic adventure game that you should probably play. Watch on and find out why. Button City is the cutest game I've played in a long time and it was really hard not to smile any time I was playing it. It's bursting with adorable animal characters, heavy 90s nostalgia, and most importantly of all, heartfelt friendships. It just needed some Care Bears, and then it would have been perfect, surely. The story is about a shy fox called Fennel, who has stayed indoors since moving into a new town during the summer holidays. After a lecture from Mummy about staying in on a nice day to play video games, she sends you out on an errand to the shops. During your trip, you end up overhearing a conversation about an arcade called Button City, and you decide to check it out. When you arrive at the arcade, you meet other like-minded animals and begin to build friendships through playing the arcade games together. You're even invited to join a crew called the Fluff Squad. This is until a greedy cat called Pepperbottom tries to shut down the arcade permanently. It's now up to Fennel and his new mates to stop the closure of their sanctuary before it's too late. It's hard not to notice Button City's colourful, low-poly graphics, which gets massive points for style. This is complemented by the cheerful soundtrack that adds audio cues to create some charming and hilarious moments. The game will throw you into outlandish situations and send you on quests in different locations. Sadly, walking across the map can take a bit of time, as our foxy little fennel doesn't move all that fast, which can be bothersome. The missions vary from gathering items, solving puzzles, or battling other kids. The gameplay is a bit more simplistic, and that's perfectly fine, because this is an experience that's aimed at younger players. However, there is plenty of adult humour to be found with lots of 90s references, which I appreciated, such as boomboxes, Game Boys, and customizable clothing, including a bum bag, or as they call it in America, a fanny pack. One of Button City's defining features is its narrative dialogue exchanges between characters. This can especially be seen through Fennel's friendship with Sorrel, the leader of the Fluff Squad. Sorrel is a strange one, often coming out with witty one-liners like Fluff Squad, Assemble! And she also practices metal yoga every morning with stances like The Screaming Leaf. There are three mini-games to play at the arcade, and the main one is a dungeon crawler called Gobabots. In this mini-game, two teams of four robots duke it out to collect the most fruit around a space-inspired map to make the most smoothies before the time limit runs out. The next game is called Revolution Racer, and it's essentially your classic arcade racing game. You soar down a mountain track with your futuristic car while exploiting drifts and boosts to give you the virtual edge and beat the best time on the scoreboard. It's pretty straightforward and it's not too hard to complete after learning a trick or two. However, I can't say the same for the last mini game, and I must admit I found it really challenging. It's a rhythm based game called Prisma Beats, where you show your epic dance moves by hitting the notes on the screen. I'm not the best nor the worst at rhythm games, but I found normal mode to be quite tricky at times. It's also worth mentioning that the game is considerably short, as the average player could complete the main story within around 4 hours, although this would take kids far longer to complete. But of course, there are a load of side quests that will add to the gameplay time. The long and short of it is, is that Button City is an excellent adventure that's light-hearted at its core, with dashes of arcade silliness mixed in for good measure. Minus a few false notes within the gameplay, this one is definitely worth throwing in the direction of younger gamers. And there we have it, another review in the bag. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, go on down below, like, comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. The info box has our links, go and have a look at them too. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye-bye.